Hey guys, we are back with more Detroit Red Wings East Side Hockey Manager. And if we take a look at the player stats here in the league, you can see Sergei Fedorov second in the league in points, 62 points in 40 games. Obviously, this is an offensively based simulator. So, I mean, but that's still pretty good, for, especially for this game's standards. But the part that I'm really impressed with, we take a look at the average rating, boom. Top five, one through five, all Detroit Red Wings. Fedorov, Lidstrom, Brunette, Hamerlick, and Iserman are pretty much the only players in the league with an eight or above. I mean, Iserman's basically an eight, like 7.98, give it to him. <laughs> so, I mean, we, we got a deadly first line. And But if we take a look here, it's pretty much the first line that's getting everything done. Because <laughs> if you say you hear like 43, plus 38, plus 38, plus 35, plus 32, and then after that, it's Eric, Anders Ericsson with plus 8, then plus 3, plus 2, plus 1, plus 1, even, 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 and the two of those are goaltenders. <laughs> and then the rest is minus three, minus four, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus 15 for McCarty and D O'Donnell. So we really have to l rely on that first line. And we're really missing Iserman and Fedorov right now. So hopefully what happens is we can just sail through the rest of the season. And I don't know. But yeah, Osgood is in there. And hopefully, Eisenman and Fedorov come back pretty quickly. <laughs> and, I mean, they should, because they were only on, like, a weak injury. So, they should be actually fine before the next game against the Capitals there. And we are now on January 1st. So, actually, I think what I'm going to do, yeah, we need to do the scouting. And, uh, obviously, the board is delighted with everything going on. And uh, let's see the scouts. So, how's Mark lead? He's on the short list. These guys, are they... So, yeah, we do need a better... That's another thing. We do need a better scouting team because our best scouts have, like, an 80 <laughs> for scouting ability. I'm going to put this guy in the next opposition. And this guy, 82... Yeah, I'll put him into the draft. Yeah, we, we really need a better uh, <laughs> scouting team because our best scouts have like yeah low 80s so you know what? let's do it right now actually unemployed scout and uh, we'll actually increase the attributes here to at least a 75 for both judging player ability and judging player potential so okay no no one <laughs> literally no one so let's just see if there's anyone out with there with the potential no really Okay, what about just player ability? <laughs> no one. Okay, so... Can't do that right now. <laughs> there goes that plan. So, uh, yeah, so our best scouts have like an 80 for scouting. That's really not good, but whatever. What you gonna do at, th at the moment? That's really the best we have and the best we can have for a while. So, I saw someone just signed group. Nice, so... With his contract, he, I believe, yeah, he gets a bonus at 30 assists. Uh, hopefully that doesn't take effect until next year, because he's already at 25 assists for this year. Let's see. Fedorov resumed. Good, good, good. We need him back ASAP, so there you go. He is back in the lineup. And uh, do we have a game today? No, we don't. That would be tomorrow. Uh, Hammerlick's back, good. So he is signed for 2.8 for the next four years after this. So that's good. We got a key defenseman back till like 2006, I believe. And then a three to four loss against the Capitals. Dotsuk, Perot, and Fedorov with the goals. And let's see. We get anyone else signed? I think, uh, I think it was only Krupen... Hammer like that we signed, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I, I don't think Dotsuk... No, we didn't offer Dotsuk. Yeah, no, we didn't. Because... Okay, so the board will allow a salary up to... 946,000. So, he, his current rating is a five-star player. So, I guess... What What is he marked at? Very good. 
Uh, I mean, what's he marked as here? He is marked as depth, so I'm going to put him as a core player for now. We'll see what happens there. A reluctant to negotiate. Okay, so we're just not going to be able to get a deal done with Datsuk at the moment. Hopefully, he, hopefully we could get him signed before July 1st, obviously. Uh, one of our prospects is injured. Uh, that's another thing I'll do around like April. I'll check our prospect stats. So there you go. 3 nothing win against the Rangers. Lidstrom, Erickson, and Lidstrom once again. Datsuk with two assists. Uh, hold on. I saw someone come back. Eisenman resumes light practice. Okay. So he's close to getting back. But still not enough to take him off the IR. Uh, Crowley except Okay. Was he a scout? Yeah, he was a scout. Okay. Do we have a game here? Uh, Eiserman, attitude praise, bell of praise. Yep, always got to do that. Let's see, game against the Oilers, it looks like. Yep, here we go. There you go. Shootout win, Brunette and Brown with the goals, and Lidstrom with a goal in the shootout. Get us the W. We are now at 30 wins, actually. And 5-1 uh, to one win against the Blue Jackets. Da Datsuk, Bashir. Brown, Fedorov, and Erickson with the goals. And we just keep rolling. We just keep rolling. How many games has Osgood played in a row? Probably a lot. Uh, Eisenman is back. Good, good, good. So you know what? Since Eisenman is back, that will be a good opportunity to give Osgood a break if he needs it. No, he's good. He's good. But uh, obviously still need to get Eisenman back in there, and ooh, he's apparently dropped to superb rather than a star, like he was last episode, I believe. So that I don't know if that was a, as a result of the injury or whatever. But okay, so who's got the lowest spot? Yeah, yeah, he's got a six oh two. So at least he <laughs> brought it above a five. But so where's Spasiev at? Right there. Get Eisenman back in there. And Osgood will keep playing. So, do we have another game against Blue Jackets? Yeah, we do. We lost an OT. Erickson and Perot with the goals. So, we got a point out of that. That's good. And I believe the Blue Jackets in this world are still in the Western Conference. Yes, they are. So, good win right there. Or, uh, <laughs> not win, but good, uh, good game right there. Just get all the extra points that we need. And it was against a basement dweller team, so not going to be angry at that. And a 5-1 to one victory against, against the Wild. Cannot talk today. Eisenman, Dasuk, Brunette twice, and Dasuk again. So, good game right there. Uh, player of the Week is Ryan Smith. And Defensive Player of the Week is Patrick Waugh. There you go. And let's see. Do we have a game against the Lightning coming up here? And that is a 2 nothing shutout victory. Lidstrom and Draper with the goals. Lidstrom on the power play. And actually, Draper was an empty net. So, really only one goal game right there. And uh, no game right there. Game against the Capitals. 4-3 win in OT. Okay, so Brown, Brunette, Datsuk, and Iserman in OT with the goal. Give us 34 wins on the season. So far, I wonder what uh, <laughs> Fedorov's stats are looking like. He's probably got like at least 70 points by now. Although he did just come back recently, so. Let's see, 4-6 to six loss against the Coyotes. So, Hammerlick, Brown twice. Uh, Brown with a hat-trick, actually. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. Kevin Brown, but uh, we did not get the win. Uh, no game there. I don't believe. No. Next game is on the 23rd against the Stars. Player of the week is Kevin Brown. There you go. Four goals and two assists. And uh, Jose Theodore is the defensive player of the week. As we go one more day to the game against the Stars. 
Yeah, let's see. A five to three victory. Eisenman, Dotsuk, Draper, Bashir, and Hammerlick with the goals to give us 35 wins on the season. And we're looking good. Uh, Stevenson out for two weeks. Ooh, okay. Not the biggest injury we've had, obviously. <laughs> but uh, still lost a forward there, so got to put Butsyev in there. There you go. And actually, yeah, Osgood's played a lot, so I'll put Flaherty in there. Uh, yeah, Fedorov with 70 points now. <laughs> nice. And then Brunette with 65. Jesus, Brunette. <laughs> Brunette is really boosted by Fedorov and uh, Eiserman there. And then Kevin Brown was 51 points as well. Uh, let's check average rating. So, yeah, still four players above an eight. And Eiserman almost there, 7.92. So, <laughs> we're still doing well. Are we still at the top of the league for uh, average rating? Yeah, four out of the... We're still at the top four, so that's good. And then the top seven as well. That is very good. So we're still killing it. And we're actually... We have 76 points. What about the Devils? They have 71. So we are currently in the President's Trophy lead. Uh, obviously not guaranteed at this point, but... You know what? We are in a good position. Turner Stevens obviously out for two weeks. Well, ten days it says on here. It said two weeks on the... News article, but I guess we'll keep going. Game against the Blackhawks, 3-1 to one with our backup goaltender in there. Brunette, Brashear, and Butsiev with the goals. And let's see. 28th against the Suns, okay. Uh, Lidstrom zooms back. Did he get injured? I guess so. Must have only been a minor injury because I didn't... Yeah, it was a stub finger. <laughs> stub finger. That's that's a uh, questionable injury in this game because they literally just come back the next day. So I don't see much point of it. But there you go, four to two win against the centers. Ha ha uh, God, Hammerlick, Perot, Brown, and Butsiev with the goals. Thirty-seven wins on the season. Player of the week is Joe Sakic. Defense player of the week Brian Leach. Okay. So, let's see. Game against the Flyers. 5-4. to four, Shootout loss, but that's fine. Point against an Eastern Conference team. Brashear, Brown, Fedorov, and Lidstrom. There you go. Looking good so far. Looking good. Uh, Heisman suffers injury again. Jesus. <laughs> that's ridiculous. So uh, February 5th is our next game, actually. So is Osgood is playing? No. Okay, yeah, he took a break for three games. We'll get him back in there. Uh, and obviously, Eisman's got to come out. Uh, player of the month is Roberto Luongo. Pecorina is the rookie of the month. Joe Sakic is the offensive player of the month. And Brian Leach is the player defensive player of the month. Team USA looking for a general manager in Olympic hockey. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'll try for it. I'm not expecting to get that job because <laughs> this game is really, really picky about who it selects for um, national tournaments because usually it just selects someone who's unemployed completely. Sometimes it'll select the player, Never know, really. So, board confidence update. They are delighted. Okay. Still waiting on our game against the Stars coming up here tomorrow, I believe. Yep. All right. There you go. Eight to one win. Brown, Brunette, McCarty, Brunette, Fedorov, Lidstrom, Fedorov, and Malpe with the goals. In an embarrassing 8-1 to win against the Stars. Or embarrassing for the Stars, not for us. <laughs> uh, so, Offensive Player of the Week is Saku Koivu. And the Defensive Player of the Week is Robert Svela. And uh, we got a lot of news to go through here. Eisman resumes light practice, that's good. Stevenson resumes practice, that's good. We'll get him back in there. 
Back into the lineup. Yo. Osgood. Yeah, he's only played one game so far. And a game against the Kings coming up here. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> I mean, John Weisbrod. Who's that? Uh, Orlando. Wow. <laughs> so you hire someone from the CHL, is it? Central Hockey League? Jesus. <laughs> but not... Uh, now two-time Stanley Cup champion GM. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, it's completely random. Uh, six to one against the Kings. Good. Fedorov, Brown, Dotsuk, Brashear, Stevenson, and McCarty for the goals with the six to one win. Brown suffers injury. Of course he does. Uh, There's a laceration. Okay. So surprise. That he's not out for longer, actually. Yeah, it's only a minor injury, apparently. Okay. I'll leave him in the lineup then. 5-2 to two victory against the Oilers. Brown, Hammerlick, Dotsuk, Perot, and Malpe with the goals. And there's actually two empty netters there with Perot and Malpe. So. <laughs> so let's get up to the trade deadline. And uh, <laughs> hopefully we can... Get a few. Oh, it appears that yeah, right. This year's the Olympic Olympics, so <laughs> the Olympic Olympics. Okay, yeah, can't English today, boys. Whatever. <laughs> so yeah, our last game is actually on the 13th before the trade deadline, so only two more games to go on the t condensed schedule. It appears, which would be why we've been having a few back-to-backs here. Including these next two games. A player of the week is Sergei Fedorov, and defensive player of the week is Chris Pronger. Uh, 4 2 win against the Lightning. Fedorov, McCarty, Brashear, and McCarty get the goals. And last game before the deadline against the Islanders, a 4 2 victory. Brashear, Dasuk, Brown, and Vaselli. Dotsuk with three assists. So, <laughs> there's the last game till the till March, basically. So, Osgood suffers an injury. Of course he does. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Hammerlick, Fedorov, Erickson, and Lidstrom are all out for the Olympics. So, hopefully we get them back in time. I don't see why not. But, sometimes in this game, the Olympics go a little long. So Aaron Ward is out for 10 days. Of course he is. Uh, not that it matters too much. We won't have a game until like March. So build up the praise for Lidstrom. There you go. And let's just keep simulating. This will be really quick. Because obviously no games until March. So, But the trade deadline is on February 23rd. Which is coming up right around the corner here. A couple days. So I'm actually going to stop it here on the 22nd. So we can check out the stats and all that. So <laughs> Sergei Fedorov, 82 points in 57 games. Unbelievable player. <laughs> I mean, Brunette with 80 in 61. That's, he's definitely boosted by Fedorov and, and Eisenman. There's no way Andrew Brunette gets 80 points without a Fedorov or an Eisenman on his side. Or in the center, rather. And uh, Kevin Brown, point per game player, basically. I mean, <laughs> he's he looks like he'd be like at a fourth liner or something, or a third liner at most, but <laughs> he's getting point per game on the Detroit Red Wings. So, yeah, and uh, Yuri Butsyev. He might be someone we look at replacing, but I mean, <laughs> we're in first, so I, I can't really make... Yeah, there's no trades I can really make here. Wow, Tange with 98 points. That's ridiculous. <laughs> We're still top three for average rating, so. But. Okay, here's the. What uh, draft picks do we have this year? We have actually quite a few. We have 10 draft picks, it looks like. So. Yeah, I think we're fine for draft picks. Uh, is Dotsuk willing to sign right now? 
because he's he's like the only major signing we have left. Let's see. No. Okay. So what does Basiev want? He wants 920. Uh, I'm going to hold off on Basiev just because his average rating has been uh, so far this year. Uh, Anders Eriksson, yeah, I wouldn't mind signing him because he's got an average rating of above 7. Does not wish to negotiate. Of course he doesn't. And uh, Vaselli, he's been a solid depth. I'm surprised he's actually... He's got 32 points. Like, literally, he's supposed to be a fourth liner. <laughs> Third line potential. He's currently a fourth line. He's got, like, oranges and reds all over the place in the technical category, but he's still good, apparently. So, uh, yeah, he's cheap depth, sure. Get him signed now. And, yeah, I... Uh, there's really no trades I can make, boys. We're we're already pretty much set to make. We're we're poised to make another run for the Stanley Cup. So I'm just I'm not going to trade anything right now. <laughs> we can just move past it here. Honestly, we can go into March. Uh but I will end it on March 1st before the next game because I don't want to go another month in this video. It's already been like I'm going to say 20 minutes roughly. I don't know how long it's going to be in the final product. I just know right now it's above 25 minutes in the recording. Uh, Valtonen suffers injury. All right. I wanted to check out the rookie stats at the end of the year. Got to do that next episode, I guess. And March 1st. Okay. So player of the month is Fedorov with four goals and six assists in four games. Rookie of the month is Yurij Kolnik. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. But uh, looks like a solid fourth, uh, third liner there. Offensive player of the month, Andrew Brunette with two goals and eight assists. And Scott Niedermeyer is the defensive player of the month with two goals and six assists. There you go. A bunch of players on waivers now. Martin LaPointe is apparently on waivers. He's got two salary of 2.6, though. No thank you. Not going to claim him. Not going to really claim anyone unless their salary is below, like, 600000 at this point. And Fedorov is back, so we'll actually... Put him in. There you go. And is Oz good? Yeah, he's he's good. He can keep playing. So, actually, I'm going to end it there, I think, uh, after I check the goalie stats. Because I don't believe I checked that. So, yeah, Oz good is above a 900 now. So, that's good. 751 average rating. Uh, maybe we could improve Wave Flaherty. But that's about the only improvement I can think over the offseason. And maybe Butsiev, that's about it, because we, as I mentioned, we're, we're poised to make another run for the Cup. So we'll finish off the regular season in the next one, and we'll take a look at all the ending season stats. And I'll see you guys in the next one when we do just that. See you guys then.